Hello everyone. So today we are here with the continuation of our uh, last uh, topic that was uh, calculating volume and surface area, and this is part B. As in part A, I have discussed two more questions, and uh, here I'll be discussing two other questions uh, regarding if the if you have a tank full of water and uh, and some water is added to it, or maybe. We need, uh, or maybe the volume is volume of liquid is present initially. We need to calculate the depth. So such questions would be present in this video. So let's begin. So here uh, we have a question that uh, an open rectangular tank of length 0.2 meters and breadth 0.15 meters contains a water to a height of 0.16 meters. So uh, we now we have a height that is water filled at, but we do not have a height of the cuboid. As we need to calculate the volume of the water, so the height of the water is important. As uh, 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 we know that when we fill in the water uh, in a rectangular tank or uh, in a cuboid, so the the liquid take the shape of the container. So the length and width would be the same of water as the tank. But the height would vary because of the uh, level of water. Uh, more water, if the more water is present, then the height of the water would be more, and if less water is present, the height of the water would be less. But we need to calculate the volume of water here, so the height of the water is important. And other than that, we need to calculate the surface area of the water that is in contact with the uh, cuboid. So first of all, we have copied down the data that length of the length of the tank is 0.2 meters, breadth of the tank is 0.15 meters, and height of the water is 0.16 meters. And we need to calculate the volume and surface area of water. So here's the data and figure again. So first of all, we need to calculate the volume of uh, the water. So we can use the formula of cuboid as the liquid take the shape of the container and uh, this is a cuboid. So water will be a cuboid as well. But the only difference would be that we will use the height of the water, not the whole uh, cuboid if it would be had given, given to you. But uh, in this case, it is not given to us. It, uh, the height of the liquid is only given. So we will use that value. So the, the formula would be volume is length into breadth into height and uh, the length, breadth and height all substituted and we have got the value of the uh, volume that is 0 0.0048 meter cube. That is the volume of the uh, liquid containing uh, uh, in the tank. But uh, now we need to get the values in liters as we uh, uh, as we see the value of the liquid in liters usually, so we need to convert it from meter cube to liters and uh, we should remember the conversion for that. That is one meter cube is 1000 liters and uh, meter cube is the larger unit and liter is the smaller unit. So we need to go from the larger to the smaller unit, so we need to multiply the value with the conversion unit. So we have multiplied this value 0.0048 by thousand to get the value in liters that is 4.8 liters after that we need to calculate the volume that is in contact with water so as we can see in this particular uh, figure that uh, the surface area in contact with water is this front one this uh, right one this uh, beneath one uh, uh, this left one and this the bottom one but not the top one the top uh, of the container uh, is not in touch with the water. So when we talk about the formula for surface area, we can see this, uh, I have noted it here, that when I uh, talk about length into breadth, that is the bottom uh, bottom one, we have not multiplied it by two as the upper part is not in contact with the uh, cuboid. Uh, but uh, right and left are in contact, uh, are both in contact, so it is multiplied by two and uh, front and back they are also connected with it so it is also multiplied by two but the, you should remember this that upper part is not in contact that therefore this length into breadth is not in the bracket and not multiplied by two so i have put in the values all the values uh, are being uh, substituted and uh, we have followed the board mass obviously so this bracket is solved first then this multiplication and then both the addition and we have got the value of 
surface area of water in contact that is 0.142 meter square so uh look let's look at another question an open rectangular tank that is 4 meter long 2 meter wide and 4.8 meter high is initially three quarter filled with water so there this is something you should be a uh, first uh, solving that uh, we need to first uh, see that how much depth uh, of water is the height of the water is uh, because this is the uh, height of the cuboid not the water and in the previous case as we discussed that uh, the height of the water is important when we want to uh, we want to uh, uh, find out the volume of the water so uh, first we will use this to calculate the uh, height of the water and after that next part is to find the depth of the water in the tank after 4000 liter of water are added to it so when we add 4000 liter of water what would happen to the height obviously it will increase but by how much value it will increase we, we will see this so first of all i've copied the data that is length is 4 meters breadth is 2 meters and height is 4.8 meters so we need to calculate the final depth of water first of all let's see how much height it has attained because of this water filled that is uh, three, three quarters that means three over four so uh, of uh, the initial length that initial length was the length uh, uh, of the tank was 4.8 and three quarters were filled so three over four of 4.8 uh, so the value is 3.6 meter that is the depth of the water initially filled as 3.6 meters then when uh, you add 4000 liter of water what happens to the height what happens to the breadth and what happens to the length of the uh, the water that is poured in the container so length and breadth obviously remains the same only the height or the depth increases it is filled initially 3.6 then it will obviously increase as you have poured in some more water so first of all let's see when 4000 liters of water is added what happens that uh, we need to first convert this into meter cube as we have been calculating everything in meters and meter cube and we also have the formulas and such uh, so one meter cube is 1000 liters and 4000 liter is converted into meter cube so we are going uh, from a, a smaller unit to a bigger unit so we need to divide and after the division by thousand we have obtained that this is four meter cube so we have obtained the value of 4 meter cube and now we need to see because of this 4 meter cube how much height uh, the liquid would have obtained so the cuboid would be having the length of 4 meter obviously again the breadth would be 2 meters obviously and because of uh, some more water the height only varies so we can see that because of this particular water how much height should be obtained so I've used the formula of the cuboid as uh, I've stated earlier that it will take the shape of the container that is a cuboid so length and breadth would remain the same that is length is 4 breadth is 2 height we don't know and the volume is 4 meter cube so uh, this is multiplied and then uh, when we move it to the other side of the equals to it is divided so we have obtained the height of 0 0.4 0 0.5 meters that is that would be increased because of this uh, particular volume of water so this is the height increase and this was the initial height so we need to have the final height the total height so the final height or the total height would be the addition of the both the values so it's here that uh, the total depth of the water would be 3.6 plus 0 0.5 that would be 4.1 uh, meters so that would be the height of the water so we are up for today and uh, do let me know if you like the video so, so please like it and uh, if you have any questions please comment below thank you